Good morning. 434, another sushi working day. Gonna get ready and uh, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Done with work, amazing, amazing job. I did well. I was, uh, boss said he, he's getting me a raise. Probably like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm on my way to our orchestra rehearsal. Second rehearsal. They will be playing with the soloist. Should be interesting, should be fun. I think it's gonna be a very fun rehearsal. I got myself some breakfast. Some cheese bagel or whatever you wanna call it. Okay, see you later. It was really nice. We played it very well, I would say. Some minor things that we can improve on, but overall very, very good. And I'm excited. Next week we have another rehearsal on Saturday and then the concert. I think it's on Sunday. Great day, so I'm probably gonna go out for a little bit. Maybe record later. I'm not so sure about the streaming. I'm, I'm dealing with some uh, VSTs and stuff. And the effects that I want to add on the cello, so I'll be playing with that. Uh, hey, peoples. We are in Planica. This is our biggest ski jump, right? Yeah, our biggest ski jump. Whoa, is this the one? And we're going to Tamar for a short, short walk, 40 minute walk. Tamar, I have no idea how to explain this. It's a forest with a house at the end for our small, short break. And probably so something to eat. We're gonna probably yeah, yeah, we're gonna probably something eat. fresh, something hot, something, something fresh, something to spoon like food. Goulash, bograch, something. Yeah. How sick! The dude was like with the bike. Tires. Can you can you show them how take the tires? I I don't. This big. They they were this big. The tires were were big. Yeah, and very like uh, with a good profile. So he was just, he was just like cycling, <laughs> you know, like on on the on the ice. <laughs> okay, let me start over. So the tire the tires were like average. I think they were completely average. <laughs> Okay, we have toilet break now. I just have to take this off because I'm hot. <laughs> yes, you are. So. so, how are the shoes, John? Are they okay? Yo, yeah, um, they're great. Look, they're they're doing very well. Uh, working very well. It's not slippery mm -hmm. at all, and they're waterproof. So, you know, I'm not gonna get wet. Perfect. Right. Okay. Go. Ah, let's go. So we were just talking with Luca about the timing, right? We thought we were a bit late. Yes. But it, we now feel like we just caught the right time to go. We're gonna have nice sunset on the way back. It's gonna be amazing. Influencer vlogger. Hi. We just ate. It was. It was. It was full. I'm full. Wow. I'm full, and I'm farting all the way down. Luca treated us for lunch. It was expensive. AF. And now we're on our way back. We have like I would say like 40 minutes. It says 40 minutes, but I think we're gonna be done in 20. It was amazing. Caught the last days of uh, snow, most likely. It's gonna melt away. It's surprisingly. Kleje tri eure u stal drubija. Parking je pa tri pa pol. Ja? Ja kem ze peja sa centa od dobu. Pa dej no. They should put that food to 50 cents cheaper. They should cheaper. like calculate, you know. <laughs> and they should calculate that it makes sense for us tourists, us uh, city tourists visiting the... What is this? Nature. <laughs> hey! Touch... Touch... Wait, grass. <laughs> touch grass. <laughs> touch grass. Ah, ah, ah.
we're in Kranz Kagora. We're gonna go grab something to drink a little bit, walk around, check out the, the ski slopes a little bit, relax here for an hour and then we are gonna go home. Mold wine and uh, big cookie. Mm. Anything special about a cookie? Yeah. Chocolate cookie. Big one. You know guys, it's so beautiful. Like night skiing would be amazing here, to be honest. Like just the scenery itself, right? But night skiing here starts at six, that's in 20 minutes. I'm assuming there will be no sun anymore, but no, right. right if it's yeah, but like, light. you know, the vibe now is like, it, it's, the, it's the perfect vibe right it's now. It's the yeah. perfect uh, lighting. Lighting, it's it's romantic. Yeah, it's romantic. So it's not the best for skiing, it's the best for having someone here who you Oh yeah, you door. drank something. And yeah, then, and, you cut yeah, and then you can go like two or three runs down yeah. the hill and then you just go in hot sauna. Oh, sick. Sauna, huh? Next year, yeah? <laughs> this is Next girlfriend. And, okay one day okay our trip for the day is over going back home and new adventures tomorrow right luca what's tomorrow new adventures yes every day whatever it is it's new every adventures day, new opportunities Woo. hello welcome i just finished my stream i would like to show you what i'm working on now as in like the setup audio production effects all that first things first i'm gonna tell you how my setup here looks like for the live stream, okay? So um, we will disregard this microphone because this is mainly just for talking and I can't split the uh, inputs in Ableton. So disregard this microphone when I'm explaining stuff. This one's not really set up, but hey, this is how it sounds like. Then we have a cello microphone. This is T-Bone Ovid uh, CC100 that goes into Boss RC30. Then we also have Pacer uh, nectar pacer for for the pedals now I programmed my nectar my pacer so that I have one bank for effects one bank for looping one bank for performing the loops but it's always fun to also do loops on the spot so uh, for that reason I'm practically using two looping options one is with the RC RC30 just because I feel like it's faster to create something but since I have the option to then use a Kai MIDI controller, I like to use it for, let's say, the drums or bass lines or random piano stuff, uh, harmonics, etc., etc. So I'm kind of doing a mashup of looping with a pedal and looping with Ableton, right? In a way. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you how uh, how it looks like when it's in the Ableton. So when sound get, gets into. This is how I have my project set up. As you can see, first, I wanna say six, five, six scenes are empty. Those scenes are controlled with my uh, pedals. See, scene one, two, three, four, five, uh, and then stop, full stop is the sixth pedal. So that's what I have for performances, right? Generally, I would say that songs uh, have Generally, I would say that songs have like three parts, let's say intro, chorus, intro verse, which would probably be the same and then chorus progression might change and then you have like a bridge progression. That's like three to four different uh, chord progressions that I would be able to record inside Ableton. I have one extra just cause, I don't know, but like I have five, I would say that I would generally need most, let's say three to four. But, and that's like a lot already in my opinion. Okay, I set up main microphone. I will show you the main microphone setup when it comes to uh, plugins and effects. 
So on the main microphone, we start with a tuner. Uh, it helps me, I feel like with any stringed instrument, uh, it's important it's tuned, right? Especially if you're playing with backing tracks. 443 hertz reference, because I like it that it's a little bit higher tuned than lower tuned. Even though I would say that industry standard for production would be like 440 hertz. Then we have two equalizers. One is Nova, just to cut off that bass. Uh, my D G string and F sharp here on the on the D string plus F sharp on C string, really really strong vibrations, really strong notes. So I'm cutting those off, and then you see there on top, kind of like I want to say like middle middle of four thousand hertz. There's a bit of a hiss. I eliminated that as well so that I get as much white noise as possible out of the cello. And then I also have a slick EQ to just um, cut those frequencies off, to cut the noise away. Um, and it works, okay? It works, it's much cleaner. Very, very like up there and eliminating that with the first See, much cleaner, much cleaner. And I'll see the difference here in the sound. I, I then compensated and let's say fixed it with this other EQ. Using a stock compressor here for now, um, I didn't really do anything else, just so that I have a clear sound. Also, you might notice that this is maybe a little bit quieter and that's totally fine because it's set up for the cello, right? For performance and since, since the cello is already quite loud, this is fine. And then, so like I added a couple of limiters to lift the gain up a little bit. As you can see with my pitch shift effect, I'm losing a little bit of gain, so I add up uh, with the limiter. I'm not sure if that is a good idea. I'm not sure if that's smart, but this is just the way how I did it, okay? Maybe it's not great, but. And then I have a warmer. This is just another compressor, you know, compressor. but I didn't wanna have those uh, low frequencies get up again, so I just, you know, cut that off a little bit. I'm talking nonsense. I have no idea what I did, but it just sounded nice, okay? That was my, let's say, rule of thumb. If it sounds nice, it's nice, okay? I don't have to know what exactly it did, but if it sounds nice, it sound, sounds nice. I should like relax and make a plan of how I'm gonna talk about these things. Let's talk about effects. Main two that I have are reverb and delay. These are send A, B. I'm using Valhalla Supermassive uh, for, for reverb and I'm using a stock delay. It's really, really simple, but I would like to also mention that I also have a stock delayed room reverb. Uh, so when I press my pedal for reverb, both get turned on. Why? Because I think it sounds nicer. Then we have a guitar wah pedal and lead amp and warm ensemble. Those are stock. Uh, I just tweak the settings around a little bit so that it sounds nicer. I have wah pedal set up so that I only have to step on it. And then when I let go, the wah pedal goes away, which in my opinion sounds good. It's nice effect. It's not exactly as the wah wah pedals would be but this works for me at the moment. And then we have a pitch shifter by Egan Music, uh, really cool. I have it set up to go down one octave and it just adds nice harmonies onto main cello. I also have it set in the middle, not too dry, not too wet. I do wanna have some, like a little bit of a clear cello. So uh, that works for me. You just wanna have a little bit of that extra uh, harmonies added onto your main line when you're playing. You don't want to have it, you know, overpower your main instrument cello in this case. I think that's it. So let me let me show you what I have and how I work with the pedals, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna go through all the effects and I'm gonna play and show you how it works, right? So first we have reverb, then we'll add a little bit delay. <laughs> Reverb, delay, simple as that, right? Then we have a pitcher, octaver, however you want to call it. that I really, 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 really like is the guitar amp, 
the warm ensemble, the whole distortion setup that I made. I'm really, really happy that this is stock and then I was able to make it sound like this. Little, little, little uh, short showcase of this. So... It adds that layer, that extra oomph to it, and it's amazing when I play over any backing track. Uh, Gary Moore, Apocalyptica, Metallica, whatever, you name it. it. It works so, so, so nice. In short, this will be my current Twitch setup for live streaming, looping. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> now I'm gonna go get some food, probably make lasagna or something. Yeah, come on. A little lasagna. This is not really burned. It's it's fi it's fine. Gonna eat, watch the Last of Us, and that's it. Good morning. I'm now on my <laughs> morning walk. Not that I do this every day, but like decided today, just before the stream, I'm gonna go for a walk talk to you a little bit about this week. It's been exciting, it's been fun. Sushi work, orchestra rehearsal, I went to Tamar on a walk, on a hike in the snow. It was an exciting week. I think the vlog overall is a bit shorter, just a little bit shorter, because uh, unfortunately I couldn't record the orchestra rehearsal. We were just too focused on the, on the playing and I also didn't want to bother people with like camera around them, because uh, we were there for a different job, right? But I'll do my best to record the performance that we have uh, coming up this Sunday and Monday. All in all, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you had fun. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the videos, all that, all the cool YouTube stuff, and I will see you on the next vlog, okay? Bye-bye.